Hello. I'm going to take a minute to talk about some functionality added to the Create Batches uh, screen in Vicinity 4.30, which is our March uh, 31st, 2020 release. Specifically, I want to talk about the use of mixes uh, in creation of batches. This is used in certain industries um, where you are wanting to make a large batch, but you can't um, mix all of it at one time. Uh, this occurs in bakeries where they've got um, a flour, a recipe that involves a certain amount of flour, and they can only process 100 pounds of flour at a time and, and all the other ingredients around that scale proportionately. So they have a fixed batch size that they like to do or a mix size that they like to do. But after they mix, they pour it into maybe into the, the production line, or maybe they put it in a holding tank, whatever. So the, the one of the uh, early resources, pieces of equipment, is a, is a limiting factor to the size of batch we can make. So they have a couple of options. One would be to create a bunch of different batches, one per mix they do. We typically don't see that in bakeries, and um, but but you may see that, say, in breweries, as an example. Uh, but the idea here is that you can create multiple mixes uh, within a single run. And the way this is handled is there's a new column out here called number of mixes that is editable. So you can come in and change this um, and put in a number. Let's say I want four mixes. Uh, now, this... This concept is really about the input raw material. So I want the, I want four mixes of raw material worth, not four times the output, but rather four times my input. And we can define what that input needs to look like. Um, I'm just changing my, my settings for this facility that I'm working under. And more specifically, I can use, uh, don't use my minimum or maximum for a batch size, but rather I want you to go and look at my master formula quantity, the, the quantity in which I save the master formula times the number of mixes. Or I can use a default batch size times the number of mixes. I'll go ahead and look at it from the default batch sizes times the number of mixes. And we'll go ahead and select this one. And I'm saying I want four mixes worth of this. So we'll say create batches. And what's going to happen is the system goes and creates a batch ticket for us that is a function of my default batch size. And it's taking four mixes times my default batch size, giving me my volume, because this default batch size is in volume, it's giving me a volume, I mean input volume of a thousand, in this case, gallons. Now be careful when you do it this way, because this is now looking at the input raw material uh, to determine how big the batch, not the output. So we're not trying to say work from the finished good and tell me what raw materials I should put in, but rather we're saying here is a standard batch size that I've got times the number of mixes that I want, and it'll create a batch of that size. So you'll probably be adjusting your end item at some stage. Now, know that this mix can be fact driven off of my default batch size like we just saw, but it can also be driven off of my master formula. So if how I save my, save my master formula is important in production, in other words, I save my master formula like a standard batch size would be, then you can work with this as well. Basically, what we're saying is I've got a standard batch size of, I think it's seven. I'm making um, four four mixes of this, so I've got 28 gallons uh, is what this is doing. Now I can actually test this here. So we can actually resize this batch based on number of mixes. So even on my preview screen, I can come in and I can change my number of mixes. I'll change that to one, and we'll now see that seven gallons or about 78 pounds. If I go to two, we can just see the math working its way through. Uh, so this is a way that you can build a batch that's a little more complex that might actually have multiple mixes involved in it. In these scenarios, we typically redesign the batch ticket so that you can see columns for mixes. So as, as operators are adding ingredients, they can be on mix one goes down one column, another mix two is the second column, etc. So we typically alter the batch ticket slightly for that. So we're giving you the ability to deal with mixes right here from the um, from management of the planned order, but we're also allowing you to deal with it once you actually get to the batch preview screen before you actually go and create your batches. So give that a try. Let us know what you think. If there's something we can do to adjust it to make it easier, let us know. Thanks a lot and have a great day.